We're driving innovation in artificial intelligence, and it is astounding. Artificial intelligence or it promises uh, an enormous, enormous promise of both risk to our society and our economy and our national security, but also incredible opportunities. Incredible opportunities. In 2022, the U.S. banned the export of some of the most advanced chips to China, including NVIDIA's A100 and H100, the most advanced AI chip currently on the market. This was a major blow to China's AI ambitions, as it relied heavily on U.S. chips for its AI development. But why did the U.S. do this? And what does it mean for the global AI race? In this video, we will explore the intense rivalry between the U.S. and China to develop the most advanced AI technology in the world, and how it affects the future of our technology. So, let's dive right into it. The threat from China is uh, large and growing. We, China wants access to our most sophisticated semiconductors and we cannot afford to give them that access. So we did something unprecedented. We said that uh, we're not just gonna deny a single company in China access to our semiconductor technology, we're gonna deny the whole country access to our cutting edge semiconductors. It was, it's a bold move, but we thought it was necessary because these semiconductors are unbelievably powerful and we can't let them get into the wrong hands. That's Gina Raimondo, the U.S. Secretary of Commerce. The U.S. government has been hampering China's rise to power for decades in all major critical sectors, and now they are targeting the Chinese AI capability. AI will be a key driver of economic development, innovation, and strategic competitiveness in the global arena. Many countries and regions have launched their own national AI strategies and plans, aiming to foster AI talent, research, investment, and governance. Some of the leading companies in AI include Google, IBM, Microsoft, Amazon, Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, and Nvidia, among others. Of course, not all countries are equal in their AI capabilities and ambitions. Some have more resources, infrastructure, data, and policies to support AI development and deployment. According to the Global AI Index, countries such as Singapore, Israel, Switzerland, and the UK are making significant progress and contributions in AI. However, the main contenders in the AI race are, no doubt, the US and China, the giants of the 21st century, as they have the most resources, infrastructure, data, and policies to support AI development and deployment. Both countries have declared AI as a national priority and have invested heavily in AI technology. So, how they staked out against each other? And who will more likely win in the end? But hold on, before we get carried on by the intense rivalry, if you are enjoying this video and want to learn more about the current AI landscape, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let the battle begin. The US and the Soviet Union once competed for nuclear and space supremacy. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1990, the US became the sole great power for decades. But there's a new player in town, China and the ground they are competing on is AI supremacy. AI is the defining feature of our era, as it can be deployed in almost anything, including warfare. The US government has made AI one of its top critical technologies and heavily invests in it. Similarly, China has issued official statements and plans to become the leader in AI by 2030. To see how they compare against each other, let's examine specific advances in AI in both the US and China. Semiconductor Design The U.S. holds a significant advantage in the semiconductor design market, commanding an 85% global share. Semiconductors play a crucial role in providing computational power for AI applications, including deep learning and computer vision. Key U.S. companies in this sector include NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm. In contrast, China stands as the largest importer and consumer of semiconductors, relying on U.S. chips for its AI development. This dependence puts China in a vulnerable position, especially considering the recent U.S. chip ban. However, China isn't backing down. They are also developing their own chips, like Baidu's Kunlun chip designed for cloud computing and AI workloads, and Huawei's Kirin 9000's chip used in smartphones and 5G networks. 
While these chips may not be as powerful as their Western counterparts, they represent a step in the right direction. China aims to achieve self-reliance and reduce its reliance on foreign chips by 2025. AI Research China has been investing heavily in its AI research infrastructure and talent pool, as well as leveraging its data resources and market size to support its AI initiatives. China filed 389,571 patents in the area of AI in the past decade, accounting for 74.7% of the global total and ranking first in the world. China has also become a world leader in AI publications, with the most AI research publications in 2020. China has also established several AI research institutes and platforms, such as the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the National Engineering Laboratory for Deep Learning Technology and Application, and the China Brain Project. The U.S., however, still leads in terms of AI conference papers and citations, which are considered more indicative of the quality and impact of AI research. The U.S. also has a more diverse and collaborative AI research community, with many top universities, such as MIT, Stanford, and Berkeley, and research labs, such as Google AI, Microsoft Research, and Facebook AI Research. The U.S. also attracts many international AI researchers and students who contribute to the innovation and diversity of the U.S. AI ecosystem. AI Innovation and Implementation The U.S. still leads in terms of AI innovation and implementation, having more AI startups, private investments, and companies than China. According to a report by CB Insights, the U.S. had over 2,500 AI startups with total funding of $62 billion and 18 AI unicorns or startups valued at over $1 billion as of 2020. Some of the most prominent U.S. AI companies include OpenAI, Google, IBM, Tesla, and Amazon. The U.S. also has a stronger global influence and reputation, with many of its AI products and services being widely used and recognized around the world, such as Google Search, Apple Siri, IBM Watson, and OpenAI's ChatGPT. China, however, is catching up fast, especially in areas such as facial recognition, natural language processing, computer vision, and e-commerce. China has over 1,000 AI startups, with total funding of $20 billion and four AI unicorns as of 2020. Some of the most notable Chinese companies that invest heavily in AI include Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, ByteDance, and SenseTime. China also has a huge domestic market and user base with over 900 million internet users and 200 million smart devices, which provide abundant data and demand for AI applications. China also has strong government support and policies for AI development, such as the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, which aims to make China a world leader in AI by 2030. In short, while China has the advantage of its large population, data, and government support, the U.S. still leads in terms of innovation, quality, and diversity in AI. China will be playing catch-up for years to come, but the gap is shrinking every day. And that's why the U.S. is determined to slow down China's attempt by banning certain chips and technologies from China. The competition between the U.S. and China in AI is likely to intensify in the future. The competition between China and the U.S. in AI will affect other countries, especially those in the developing world. These countries might feel pressured to choose sides or go their own way. AI's impact on the world also depends on whether it fits well with different cultures. AI isn't neutral, it reflects the values and goals of the people who make and use it. Cultures have various preferences for how AI should act and interact with humans. This includes things like how much independence AI should have, how clear and understandable it is, and how it respects human dignity and responsibility. Different cultures may want AI to behave in different ways. If China wins the AI race, it may use its AI advantage to strengthen its authoritarian regime, expand its regional and global influence, and challenge the US-led liberal order. China may also impose its AI standards and norms on other nations, especially those in the developing world, and promote its AI values and goals, such as social stability, national sovereignty, and collective welfare. 
If the U.S. wins the AI race, it may use its AI advantage to maintain its technological edge, protect its national security, and uphold its democratic values. The U.S. may also encourage other nations to adopt its AI standards and norms, especially those in the allied and friendly camp, and support its AI values and goals, such as human rights, privacy, and individual freedom. At the end of the day, the AI race between China and the U.S. is not only a competition for technological prowess, but also a clash of different visions for the future of humanity. It's too early to tell who the winner will be, but the outcome of this race will have a profound impact on the global order. So, what are your thoughts on the AI race? Who do you think will gonna win? And how the outcome will affect your life and career in the future? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more AI-related content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.